Hey everybody, Amin Shaki, Head of Growth and Strategy at InfoTrust. Want to talk to you a minute today about something that some people might be freaking out about, but hopefully not you, and that is ITP 2.0. What that is, what you have to do, are you in trouble, are you going to lose all your data and tracking if you're a digital advertiser, digital marketer, and other things coming up in the privacy space with digital. Um, so to start, what is ITP 2.0? ITP stands for the Intelligent Prevention, Intelligent Tracking Prevention uh, Protocol or initiative that Apple is actually bringing to their Safari web browser uh, in mid-September. It's 2.0 because last year it was released uh, to help better protect users' privacy as they're navigating the internet and using their browser. And 2.0 aims to essentially block or heavily limit third-party cookies and third-party tracking capabilities uh, online. So what this means from a digital marketing perspective or digital advertising analytics is any technologies that you're using on your website that requires or relies on third-party th uh, cookies and uh, that type of technology. Usually these are advertising pixels, advertising tags in your tag management system or on your site. Uh, those might stop working or will stop working with the Apple uh, Safari web browser update. So what to do about it, to jump straight to the chase there, uh, because there are ways to handle it. So don't freak out, don't worry, there are ways to uh, address this and that's mainly switching to using first party tracking, first party cookies, essentially relying on technologies that use interactions that users are having with your site and not just relying on interactions with other sites or as they're navigating the internet. So big vendors like Google and Facebook and uh, those types of technologies have brought in solutions or are already using first party tracking capabilities. Facebook and Google Analytics, for example, they track your on-site web visitors and interactions. That's first party already. No changes needed there. Now, technologies like Google AdWords, DoubleClick, those tracking technologies, those pixels, conversion tags on your site, they do rely on third-party tracking for view-through type of conversions and what people are doing outside of your website interactions. So there is some work that needs to be done for those to address, uh, address this, and you probably already started hearing about it, if, if not already, um, conversion linker tags that can be set up in Google Tag Manager. Um, it's just a simple all pages tag, very easy to deploy across all of your Tag Manager accounts. Or if you're not using Google Tag Manager, there's other upgrades to these tracking technologies or pixels uh, to use site-wide tagging and kind of address that issue with third-party versus first-party cookies. Uh, for your other ad tech vendors, if you're using other technologies and, um, and means of bringing users to your site that require pixels, Check with those ad tech vendors if they have an upgraded pixel or if it's already using first party uh, approach, first party cookies, and you should be all good there. This might mean a slight tag upgrade um, or migration across many different vendors that you have. So it might be a project you want to consider within your organization. Um, and moving to a tag management system greatly simplifies this. If you're already using one, wonderful, especially if you're using Google Tag Manager and Google products, because yes, we're biased. Now, the last thing I want to leave on um, is to be mindful of the industry. You know, this is just Apple's play with Safari, uh, but just an announcement today from Mozilla Firefox that they also are getting into the heavier privacy user protection space. You know, with GDPR that was launched earlier uh, this year, it seems like that's kind of a trend. Um, and with Mozilla Firefox, they are, at least they announced that they are exploring blocking all tracking tags and uh, technologies on websites through their browser by default uh, in order to improve page performance, page speed, load times, etc. This one's a little bit heavier to swallow and it just came out so we're still doing some investigation seeing where the news turns up and Mozilla hasn't confirmed if it's official not or not. They're just doing some studies to see if they should block by default all trackers, all web trackers. So if you want more information about ITP 2.0, uh, the Mozilla announcement or GDPR, anything privacy and tracking related, how that affects you and your business, feel free to reach out. Um, but to answer the question I asked in the beginning, you should not be freaking out. It'll be fine. There are always ways to make sure that you have quality tracking. Your advertising can still perform and you can optimize all of your campaigns. But thanks for listening. Hopefully that was a good overview for you if you're wondering what the heck's going on in the industry.